the centering and strengthening. A lot of people have um, expressed a concern with me about their balance. So today we're going to focus on balance and alignment. So I'm going to make it a little bit challenging. So what I'd like you to do is to get a small weight. I don't want you to get a very big weight. I want you to get a small weight so that you're constantly dealing with some kind of balance issue. Because usually when we trip, we feel off guard. We're holding something. We're trying to make a step. We're trying to do something more um, usual than, than more regular than just walking. So a little, this one is three, two. Uh, it can be something like that. Okay, we don't need that during the warm up, but keep that nearby. Let's take our feet to shoulder width apart and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, two more up and down, last time up and down. And we go side to side for the toe behind the heel. Get your head over your tailbone, your shoulder, hip and ear in alignment. Belly button to spine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we reach holding our feet at the same distance and then just pivoting on our toe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We step and knee. We step and knee. We do this eight times. The eighth one is a quad stretch. Four more. Four, and it's coming up. Two, three, <laughs> two, and one. Bring it behind. If you need to hold on to something to balance, go ahead. That's part of our program today. Yeah. And then bring it back and do the other side. Step knee and step knee. Good. Three, four, always breathing, right? Five, good job. Six, seven, and eight. Bring it behind. Nice. And hold it right there. Lift out of it. Put your arm up if you need more balance. All right, take the legs very wide. And then you go into the glute side and side and side. Four and three and two. And sit behind it on one. That toe is up on the other side. Lower your glutes, not your chest. The chest lifts, but it comes down with the rotation. And then let's move to the side. Yeah. In this point, I want you to look up at your arm. Then inhale and exhale, and let's do this to the other side. Nice. Good. Now take it through the middle, right? Reach, 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 reach. You're opening up your back. Nice. And then to a uh, wide leg tabletop, and heel toe, it, heel toe it back in. All right, soften your knees, bring it up, drop your shoulder blades, and go side to side. Nice, again, toe behind the heel. Eight, seven, six. Always get your head over your tailbone and drop your shoulder blades whenever you come back to the lift. And turn, and turn, and turn. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We come to the center and soften our knees. Roll our shoulders back for eight, three, four, kind of a medium roll, five, Six, the shoulder is a little bit of rhomboid. Seven and eight, and lift forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring the hand over the ear. Gently guide your head to the side. Drop the shoulder. You can take it behind you as well. Belly button to spine. Inhale, exhale, up. Other side. And inhale, exhale, up. Bring the arm around. If you can, reach, lift. If you can't, put your hands on your glutes and push your chest to the ceiling. Nice. Back of the hands together. Beautiful. Belly button to spine, come on. And then lower those hands to the hips. You're gonna bring the hip to the rib cage. Push on each side. We're doing eight sets. Three, nice. Four, perfect. Five, good, draw it up. Six, everything else stay still, seven. Perfect, and eight. Now holding that down there, rotate one, two, in one direction, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight in reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And breathe it three times. Take it up and down, two more, and down. This time up and down. Let's grab that tiny weight. And it's weird to have a weight. That's this small in our practice, but you'll see we're gonna to need to focus a lot. And we can challenge ourselves later with a deeper, um, a heavier weight. All right, get your head over your tailbone, your belly button to the spine. Everything 
In this is going to be pointed feet, unless otherwise engaged, try to keep yourself in the middle, try not to go on the other hip. But if you feel the, the hurt in the other hip, just come on over and sit down into that number four um, stretch. All right, so we're gonna tonde first. So tonde is just sliding out and in. We're gonna add a lat raise right here, or a, a deltoid raise and lower. We're gonna do 20 of these. So inhale and exhale back. Three, and again, we're not trying to do super strength here. Four, we're just trying to coordinate our body. Five, I'm just warming you up. This isn't part of the balance work yet. Six, but it's coming up. Seven, so we're gonna do the deltoid work here. Eight, nine, and then we're going to do the balance work as we go on. One, two, good job. Three, nice. Four, perfect. Five, are you drifting over to the other side a lot? Six, so if you're doing it here, imagine seven. It's gonna be like when you lift your foot off the floor. Nine and 10. Now you can hold that weight down there or you can hold it up here. It's up to you. I'm gonna leave it down because we're gonna do more things later. And we're gonna to go to the degage. So what I'd like you to do is sweep with the opposite arm. Take it up unless you're holding on. Two, now don't go so high that you push yourself back. Four. Five, good job. Six, perfect. Seven, and I'm doing all of these in parallel today because that's usually how we walk. 10 more, good job. One, two, three, nice. Four, perfect. Five, good. Six, seven, eight. Nine, now I want you to hold it up here on 20 and pulse. 20, eight, or 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. It doesn't have to be high. Three, two, you wanna keep it alignment. Now hold it here. I want you to hold it, put your arm out, and lift and lower to the side with that weight for 20. One, and two, good job. Three, four, good. Five, so we're feeling that balance already, six. Seven, eight, nine, and 10 more. Good job. 10, nine, good. Eight, and seven. All of you who are thinking this is going to be too easy. Six, five, this is just the beginning. Four, and three, and two. Last one. Lower the weight, lower the foot, and slide it in and pull yourself up. We're gonna do that whole set again, eyes closed. All right, 10 or 20 degages, 10 pulses, 10 or 20 holds with that lift, okay? So close those eyes. You can circle that arm around if you do a little more strength in your upper body, or you can take it all the way out, which helps you pull into alignment. Close your eyes, take it up and one. Lift and two, three, good. Four, make sure your head is staying over your tailbone, five, because sometimes with our eyes closed, we push our heads forward a little bit. Six, it's a way of protecting ourselves from danger. Seven, eight, good job. Nine, perfect. 10 more. 10, are you doing a smooth uh, lift and lower? Eight, seven, good job. Six, last five. Keep the eyes closed, four. And three, slide it back. Two, slide it back, hold it up here on one, give me 10, nine, woo, eight, seven, six. Now, one of the things I don't want you to do, five, is grip the other foot, four, it's not a claw. So you have to use three, you have to use your center to keep you balanced. Now, take it out to the side, that lift, one, and two, and three, and four, good job, five, I'm falling over, six, let yourself, Correct, seven. Okay, keep going, eight. If you have to correct, pull yourself back up, nine. That's working the muscle fibers, 10. No shame in that game. Just do it, one, two, three, woo, -hoo. four, nice, five, six, nice, seven, good, eight, woo -hoo. nine, and 20. Lower the weight, lower the foot, open the eyes, and bring it all back in. So back and forth, right and left leg. How was that one? All right, take a squat if you need it to stretch out that hip. If not, we're going right to the next one. All right, it's an extension with a soft bend and extension. We're gonna bring it back in. Don't worry about the arm for now. 
Use the other arm, take it out, soft bend, extend. Now the soft bend is a 45, so you don't take it under your um, knee. Extend and bend and down. So you take it out, soft bend. See how soft it is? Extend and down, good. Out, soft bend, extend and five. Out, soft bend, extend and six. Out, soft bend, extend and seven. Out, soft bend, extend and eight. Out, now you might feel yourself extend and nine, drifting more over to that hip. So you need to really focus on the breathing. Uh, 10, coming down, good. Nine and eight, good. You got it, seven, perfect. And six, last five, sorry, my watch was just being crazy. And four and three and two. Now you hold it up here on one, lift for 10. With that soft knee, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now extend and bend. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now hold the bend. Put your knuckles to the front, right? Hold the bend, 20, 19, 18, pushing back, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, lift, 10, 9, 8, come on, 7, I know you're pitching forward, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, push it out, lower it down, and bring it in. Now, here we go again, the same thing, eyes closed, so soft bend, extend, soft bend, extend, and down for 20. Take it out, soft bend, extend, and one. Take it out, soft bend, extend, and two. Take it out, soft bend, extend, and three. Now it's really important, out, soft bend, extend, and four, that that exhale's coming back in because that keeps you from going soft bend, extend, and five. Keeps you from falling over to the other hip, out, soft bend, extend, and six. Out, soft bend, this is where you have to exhale. Seven, inhale, exhale, inhale, eight, good. Right. up, soft bend, extend, 10 more, 10, are your eyes closed, and nine, the first thing I'd like you to do, if you're not feeling this, is get rid of the weight, eight, not open your eyes, seven, I really want you to focus on your balance, six, last five, I'm feeling everything, and four, good, and three, nice job, and two, and one, and the knee comes up for 10. 10, nine, eight, come on, soft knee, seven, six, hang on to it, five, four, three, two, and one. Now extend for 10, and soft bend, and three, and four, and five, pull it in, six, don't let yourself fall, seven, pull it in, eight, nine, if I shout like that, 10, hold the knee, knuckles to the front, push back, 10, 20, 19, 18, 17, so sorry, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, extend the leg, bring the weight in. Now I'd, I'd like you to take a squat to stretch your hips out and leave that weight on the floor. We're going to come back and get it after the next routine. Nice. Now invert. So you stretch out your back and your hips. Oh, that feels so good. Good, good, good. And then bring yourselves up, curl up, and hold it right there. So for the next one, we're going to bring the leg up into what I call a pony kick. So it's a slight push out and up and down. Push and three and four and five. Now this is going to have six, a lot less to keep going, seven. With the alignment part, you know, the whole body alignment, eight, as it is with the balance, nine, and you'll see what I mean, 10 more. 10, nine, you got it, eight, good job. Seven, six, last five, and four, little slide out, three, not far. You're not going all the way out like you do with the last one. Two, 
and one, hold it up here. Now here's where we're, our balance comes in. Take it out and in. Two and three and four and five and six and seven. So this is all lower body, eight. The upper body should not move at all, nine. That's why I create this circle with my arms, 10, because it stabilizes me up top. 10, nine, eight, and seven is that foot pointed, six, right under the knee, five, and four, and three, everything's forward, two, and one, and bring it in, and lower the foot. All right, same thing, eyes closed. So right into that pony kick, let's go. For 20, one, and two, and three. Do you have your circle arms? Number two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more, good, 10, woo, nine, you got it, eight, and seven, and six, last five, and four, three more, and two, keep those eyes closed, one, hold it up here, take it out to the side, let's go, one, and two, try to keep three, the foot under the knee, four, you're going to let it drift toward your leg, five, Try not to do that, keep it established. Six, seven. So part of what we're trying to do, eight, nine, and 10 more, good. 10, woohoo, nine, eight, woohoo's a way of me breathing and getting my seven, getting myself aligned. Six, good job. Five, you can try that at home, woohoo, four, and three, and two, and one. Bring it back to the center and bring it back down. That was drill, I have to say, it was pretty great. Okay, this is unusual, I usually burn out one side then the other, but since we're working on alignment, we're gonna do that first routine on the other side. So grab the weight. Do you need another squat? You need to get that hip opened up? Yeah, you can go ahead and do that. All right, how about that, the shoulder blades? Let's take those back. And then let's take them forward. Do you have your head over your tailbone, your ear, shoulder, and hip alignment, your belly button to your spine? Yay, your legs are sit bone width apart, right? So whenever you use a prop, you always have it to the opposite side of the side you're using, okay? So make sure that you apply by that. So take it out and in. One, good. Two, I think we're lifting with this. Three, I can't even remember. Four, five, yes, six. Seven. Now this one's going to be a little harder on me at eight because it's going to be pressing on the knee that hurts. Nine and ten. Keep going. Ten. I like to do them together. Nine, eight, seven. Now one of the things that people do sometimes six is they bend their leg first and then push it all the way out. Five. It really needs to go out straight. Four and three and two and one. Let's go for our dégagé. No weight. All right. Remember the dégagé. Take it up and one, lift and two, three. So the arm raising with you four helps the alignment through the lat. So it's shoulder to ankle awareness. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exhale, ten. Make sure you exhale back so you lift up. Ten, nine. Good job. Eight, seven, six. Last five and four and three and two and one. Pulse it for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Lift up five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there out to the side. One, okay. Two, I'm going to have to drop a little because of my knee. Three, but you stay up there. Four, five. Six, good job. Seven, make sure you come right to the shoulder, not higher. Eight, nine, you want to feel that shoulder get hard. Ten, you want to feel that muscle. Ten, good job. Nine, certainly. Eight, you got it. Seven, good job. Six, last five, and four, and three, and two, last one, and lower it down. Now slide that leg back in. We're gonna do that whole thing, eyes closed. All right, get ready, get the head over your tailbone, adjust yourself, close those eyes, let's go. One, 
two, don't bend the leg. Make sure you just sweep it out there. Three, and remember it's a sweep, it's not just a lift. Five, you sweep along the floor. Six, and then lift it off. Seven, eight, nine, good job. 10 more, you got it. 10, nine, eight, bring it back. Seven, really hard. Six, five, four, three, two, or hold it up here on one, or your eyes still closed, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there, arm out to the side. One, again, my toe is down because of my knee. Two, three, good job. Four, five, good. Six, make sure you pause at the top. Seven, eight, nine, <laughs> 10 more. 10, yes, nine, you got it. Eight, I'm gonna flex it for a minute. Seven, let's do this upper body. Six, keep eyes closed. Five, and four, and three, and two. Last one, and bring it down. Slide that leg back in. Okay, soft bend. So remember that whole sequence, right? Yes. Let's go, take it out, soft bend. Extend and our eyes are open. Out, soft bend, extend and two. Out, soft bend, extend and three. Out, soft bend, so extend and four, keep going. So one of the reasons we bring the arm to shoulder height, we create an, a, a strength, five. If we lift it up, we're moving into the joint. So we wanna have a nice muscular strength, six. Uh, we should be on seven. Out, soft bend, extend and eight. Out, soft bend, extend, and I don't know if you need an explanation. <laughs> and 10 more. 10, but make that strong body part. Nine, good. It's like having a, a support by creating those strengths together, those connecting those muscles. Six, six, seven, six, good. Last five, soft bend, extend, and four. Good job. And three and two, and one, here go, lift the knee, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, extend, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, and 10, now hold the bend, Rotate the weight so the knuckles are to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. Seven, eight, nine. Again, it's my knee. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, slide it back in. We've got that to do with eyes closed. That's a hard one. Bring that arm out so you get that strength, right? Right? So make our, oh, bring it up. All right, let's take it out, close your eyes. Take it out, soft bend, extend, and one. Take it out, soft bend, extend, and two. Out, soft bend, extend, and three, four. You've got it. Five, make sure you pause at that knee before you do it. Six, so hold, extend, hold, and down. Seven, good. Eight, soft bend, extend, nine. Ooh. 10 more, I'm having a party here. 10 and nine, good job. And eight, you got this. Look how balanced you are. Seven and six, last five and four, good job. And three, eyes are closed and I'm falling everywhere. So I hope your eyes are closed too so you don't see me. And last one, pump the knee up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And extend one, and two, and three. I'm just supporting my leg. Four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. And bring it back to the bend and push back with those knuckles to the front. 20, 20, 19, 18. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. Slide it back in, open your eyes. Let's take a squat and put that weight down. Ooh, my knee was busted a little bit on that. Feels a little bit crazy. Pull this up a little bit more. That means I'm falling over onto that side too much, right? Thank you. All right, so this one's without the weight. This is the pony kick with the rotation to the side. So we're gonna start with the pony kick. So up, slide out, out, up. Three, four, five, I like a little uh, bicep curl. Six, seven, two, eight, nine. If you have trouble with a little 10, I know a lot of people do, just lift the knee. 10, with a little scoop. Okay. Some people can do it on one side, not the other. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good job, two, and you're going to hold it there on one, take it out the side, one, two, right, there we go, three, I saw my foot drifting under, four, and I had to correct it, five, so make sure you've got that alignment, six, and it's going to be hard when your eyes are closed, seven, so try to get it into your brain now, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, who my other, six, last five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and bring it back in, and lower it down. Let's do that with eyes closed. I'm going to do some knee heels, see if I can get some uh, ease in that, that knee that's being driving me crazy. All right, close your eyes, pony kick for 20, then out to the side for 20, then we're starting back over onto the other side. Let's go. One, two, three. Anything you want to do with your arms is good for, but you want to make sure you include them. So this is a whole alignment exercise. Eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Come on. Six, eyes closed. Five, even if you're messing up. Four, you just correct as much as you can using your breath. Three, two, and one, let's take it out to the side. One, I'm gonna put mine on the ground, two to protect my knee, three, four, good, five, six, I'm okay with that, seven, eight, nine, ten more, no, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one open your eyes bring it back in and we're going to grab the weight and go back over to the other side okay so this one is going to take us to the back so grabbing the weight for now i'm going to do a, a diagonal so you can see everything that's being done i'm going to lift the opposite arm up because when you reach to the back you want to open the front muscle right and um you don't want to tilt we're going to be tilting later. We're going to go into an arabesque later. But for now, we're just going to do 10 rear degages. All right. You're going to hammer curl the um, bicep at the end. Wait, wait until the end. So you might want to put it dumbbell heads front and back. All right. So take it back and one. So you are lifting off two, <clears throat> three, four. This is... Um, Five. This is easy because you load your front leg a little bit. Six, and you're not dealing with side to side struggle, but it's going to get harder. Eight, nine. Now, when you go back, make sure you point that foot deliberately. Ten more. Ten. That's one of the things that people don't do. They want to flex. Eight, seven. So that's another reason you want to six. Drag it along the floor because that makes you go onto your toe. Five, four, three, and two. And one, hold it back there. Let's do the hammer curl. One and two. I know it's not enough weight for a real bicep workout for, but I wanna do things while we're in these balance positions. Six, because that's the only thing that's gonna make sense. Eight, nine, when we try to do this carrying stuff, 10 more, <clears throat> nine, eight, and seven. Lengthen that leg, don't let it curl up, six, last five and again it has to be forward it wants to rotate out three because it wants to go toward the uh, quad two and one and slide it back in 
<laughs> now, let's do that whole thing with our eyes closed. So get your head over your tailbone. Remember, we're gonna lift that arm up. Legs are uh, sit bone width apart. Let's go. One, two, no, no pitching forward. Three, and, but you don't wanna bow your back either. You wanna go into a nice diagonal. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. 10 more. One, two, three, four. It feels so good. It's almost like a stretch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Hold it there. Hammer curl. This is going to be challenging. One, good. Two, now, one of the things that'll keep you three is to extend that back leg more. Four, not by hyperextending your joint, five, but to push through that toe. Six, seven, eight. And if you need to take it to the floor, nine and 10 more. I'm, I'm falling over. 10, eyes closed. Nine, eight. Good job. Seven, six, last five. I'm not going to speed it up, but that would make it easier. Four, three, and two and one, and bring it back down and slide it in. Well, that was something, wasn't it? Call it something. Okay. We're gonna do a hamstring curl. We're gonna take it back first. So this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna take it back, curl, extend, and one. <laughs> bring your back. Back, curl, extend, and two. Back, curl, extend, foot is still. Four, um, five, the foot is still pointed all the way through it. Again, the hamstring curl, we want to flex. Six, we're not doing that today. Seven, we're working on all this awareness through our whole core system. Eight, good job. And nine, and 10, and 10. I started closing my eyes for no reason. And nine, and eight and seven, and six, last five, and four, and three, good job, and two, and one, hold it here. Now, going to take it, our elbow up, and a tricep press back. Two, three, four, five. This is really gonna take you off balance a little bit, Seven, eight, but we're here for that. Nine, that's what we're here for, right? 10 more. So you're here for that. 10, keep going. Nine, eight, seven, pointed foot, six, last five, and four, and three, and two, last one. Extend it and bring it back down. Ooh, I put some weight back there that I shouldn't put back there. Okay, let's do that with our eyes closed. We take the leg back, hamstring curl. And we bring it down and then we hold that hamstring curl for the tricep kick back. So close your eyes, take it back, bend, extend, and one. Back, bend, extend, and two. Make sure your back is in a nice long line from your head to the elbow, three. And when you're done, make sure you bring yourself back into alignment, four, dropping those shoulder blades. Five, extend, and down. Six, bend, extend, and down. Seven, bend, extend, and down. Eight, slow it down, Omas. Nine, when I'm on my good knee, I'm doing this. 10, what I'll be like when I'm on my bad knee. 10, good. And nine, extend it. Make sure you extend it before you catch yourself. Eight, catching yourself is acceptable because that's what you gotta do. Seven, but you know, six, it's plus going to pass. Five, gotta stop talking and keep moving. Four, good job. And three, if I go over a little and you have to leave to make sure you stretch your hips. And one, now hold it, bring the arm up, kickbacks. Two, three, I think this is the hardest part. Four, five, six, that's right, start falling over. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. You're carrying a big grocery bag, get knocked off the steps. Ten, nine, eight, seven, what are you going to depend on? Six, five, not me. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now I want you to take the weight down. 
I'm going to face the front. We're still doing that side. Well, actually, I'm going to face the side. So it's a different one. It's only 10 of each. Our knee to our chest, take ourselves back. Bring our knee to our chest. Try not to touch down. Two, three, keep going. How are you doing it? Four, you've got to focus. Don't look at the screen, all right? Five, you want to focus your eyes. Six, even though that doesn't help you balance. Seven, having a chance to look at the horizon. Eight, but if we do this while we're working out, nine, we get to, and 10, train our neuromuscular system to bring us into balance, right? Let's get our head over our tailbones. Do that with eyes closed. And we're going to finish off on the other side. It took the whole class. Close those eyes. Knee to the chest. Take a step back. And wow. Back and back. I needed to get a rhythm. Two. If you need to touch down, three, just go back to the flow. Four, five, when you're ready. Six, it's hard. Seven, eight, you're not seeing me fall, I hope. Nine, good job. And 10, oh my goodness gracious. I want you to go wide and sit back into a sumo squat as we grab the weight for the other side. Beautiful. Nice job, you guys. Let's do we're going to we're going to do the degage to the back on the other side. So get yourself right over your tailbone. Let's go. And one, two. Make sure you point. Three, six, four. Remember your head. You're in a hammer curl. Five. Dumbbell heads front and back. Six. Well, oh, it's for both parts. Seven. Why don't I just close my eyes? Eight. Nine. 10, ha, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and keep it up there on one. Let's bicep curl, one hammer curl, and two, and three. Pull that belly in, put the arm wherever it'll help you for. Eyes ahead on the floor, five, don't push or drop, six, with your head, seven, point straight through that back leg, eight, nine, and 10 more, good job, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, last five, good, four, and three, and two, last one, and bring it in, how's it going, yeah? All right, here is our close eye version. I like to get myself mentally prepared for this. All right, let's go. Take it back and one. Point and two, three, four, five. All the warrior threes I've done all my life. Six, you think this would be easy. Seven, good. Eight, come with my eyes closed. Nine, good job. 10 more, you've got it. 10. Nine, perfect. Eight and seven and six. Last five. Lift up four. Don't just touch your toe down. Lift up three and two and one. Let's do our hammer curl. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Two, three, four. Okay, my knee doesn't like this. Five. So I'm going to put my foot down. Six, seven, eight. Nine, 10 more. Make sure you drop the weight all the way down. Nine, that's our form. Eight, stay with form. Seven, this isn't just like trivial. Six, really trying to get you in here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, slide it back in. All right, we're gonna take it back. Hamstring curl, big eye hamstring curl, extend and down. Totally. Pointed foot the whole time. Take it back, curl, extend, and one. Back, curl, extend, and two. Back, curl, extend, and three, four. Nice. Five. So the toe hits the floor. Six. So you know you're pointed, right? Seven. Eight. 
sure that when you land, you line back up again. Nine. Ten more. Ten. Good job. Nine. This part doesn't hurt my hip as much. Eight. A standing on it and doing the eight. Seven. And six. Good job. Nice. And four. Reach back. And three. And two. And one. All right. Here we hold it with the knee bent. We bring it to a tricep kickback. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, here's my knee again. Six, seven, eight. You can hold that hamstring curl. Ten more. If your knee isn't killing you like mine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it. All right. The whole set again. It's closed. All right. It's closed. And get back. Bend, extend, and one. Back, bend, extend, and two. Back, bend, extend, and three, four. Now the arm over the head helps stay to the center. Five, good, six. Doesn't let you drift off to the side. Seven, good, eight. Keep that foot pointed, make sure you land and lift. Nine, it's better than I thought. Ten more. 10, seems like it's long as I believe my knee's okay. Nine, oh, eight, make sure you do that diagonal so that your head and shoulders are good. Seven, your back doesn't hurt. Six, good job. Last five, and four, and three, and two, and one. All right, let's keep those eyes closed. Tricep, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down and bring yourself up. Let's get rid of that weight. And we're gonna go into that final plie thing. Probably gonna be about four minutes today. Okay. Recovery tell them. All right, the knee goes to the chest. It goes back. You go to a Parallel position, and then you bring your knee back up. So use those arms. Up and extend, bend, and one. Knee up and extend. I'm hitting my back round. And two. Knee up and extend, bend, and three. Knee up and extend, bend, and four. Since so I looked at myself in the monitor, <laughs> extend, and thought I fell over. Tells you something about where your eyes need to be. Extend and six. Knee up and extend. Bend and seven. Up and extend. Bend and eight. Up and extend. Bend and nine. I'm catching myself. Up and extend. Bend and ten. Let's do that with our eyes closed and we've taken this thing all the way from A to Z. And we have 45 minutes. All right, close your eyes. Knee up and extend, bend and one. Up and extend, bend and two. Knee up and extend, bend and three. Knee up and extend, keep going, bend and four. I'm going to save my knee. Knee up and extend, bend and five. Knee up and extend, bend and six. Knee up and extend, bend and seven, knee up and extend, bend and eight, knee up and extend, knocking my shit around, bend and nine, my shit from out, knee up and extend, bend and ten, soft to center. How great was that? All right, you may never talk to me again. Uh, let's do some folded stretches. I can't fold across this knee. But you go right ahead and fold and go down. I'm just going to do it across the leg and sit behind it. Bring it back up, and then I can do this side. And sit down on this. As long as we're balancing, right? We might as well do these. Sit into it and then bring it back up. Okay, so we're going to stretch by circling two, 
three. We did touch down on this four. We're not doing balance anymore. Five, reverse it. Six, seven, and eight, reverse. Two, three, four. You can hold on. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, the important part is this one. And two, because it stretches that muscle. Three, that we've been holding so tightly for. Five, good job. Six, seven, and eight. I love doing things on my good leg. That <laughs> makes me feel a lot calm. Other side, one, two, that's not now. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's a slight point. The other way, one, two, three, four, five, two, six, seven, and eight. Take it out now. And two, and three, and four, and five. Keep going. Six, seven, and eight. Let's get really, really wide and sit into a sumo squat. Really push. Really push. Yeah, there we go. Come on over to one side, pushing into that hip. Nice JLB. Come back into that sumo. To the other side. Come back to sumo, extend your legs and curl under your chest, under your center of your legs, under your groin. <clears throat> now I'm going to take, I'm going to do this sideways and take it out nice and big. You're going to push your knee forward, push your knee forward with the hip extension. Good, good. Four more sets. Four and three and two. And one, pull the belly button to the spine. I want you to arch up, bringing your heels and toes in. Keep arching as you bring your heels and toes in. Make it a higher arch and then curl yourself up. Nice, that worked really, really well. We got to do some upper body because we did a little bit of shoulder. It was very light. But make sure your knees are soft and you can roll your shoulders back. Great, good, three. Unless you load it up, four. Good luck with that, five. Six, you're more balanced than I am. Seven and eight, four, one, good. Two, three, hold the belly in, four. Good job, five, six, nice, seven and eight. You're gonna put your hands low on your hips. Hip, two, hip, two. Nice, five more sets, five and four, good. And three, two. And one and a uh, circle. Two, three, four, keep it low. Five, six, who drops the back out, right? Eight, other side, one, it feels good too on that lumbar. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back of the hands together, and then tricep and bicep. All right, relax it down and breathe it up through your toes. Take it up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, thank you for coming to Strengthening Centric Day. And today was our balance and alignment workout.